When I heard about today's theme of mason jars, I immediately thought, party. <laughs> I don't know why a lot of people think of mason jars for food, but I thought party. What I am doing with mine is I am using the Aline's Collage Posh to do a tissue collage on the outside of a mason jar. I love how you can put your votive candles or your tea light candles inside these and the colors just glow so beautifully. Tissue collage is so easy and you get extra colors because you're going to overlap. So pick designs that you want. I'm gonna show you how to do stripes. I'm gonna show you how to do polka dots. The Aline's Collage Posh comes in matte, glossy, and sparkle, and I'm going to be using the glossy today. First of all, you want to find your mason jar. This one's really cool from the craft shop because it doesn't have any sort of embossed printing on it. It's completely smooth. A lot of the mason jars that you select do have the brand name on it, which is fine. It also works for this, but you can find these at your craft store. When you select your tissue paper, be sure that you check the label because some tissue paper is bleeding, which means that the colors do come out of the tissue when you apply any sort of liquid. This is bleeding tissue paper and it works on this project, but if you do not want your colors to come off on your fingers or bleed at all, be sure and check the labels. This is uh, a celebration. Doesn't that look like a party? <laughs> and so what I did is I just cut my tissue into strips. And this is a project where you're going to dip your fingers right into the collage posh. Forget about using a brush, just dip right in. I put a nice puddle into my little plastic cup here and I just start rubbing. Keep some wet wipes handy because as this starts to dry on your hands you're going to need to keep wiping it back off. With tissue you only need to put it down first right onto your mason jar and grab a strip, put it right into the Aline's Collage Podge and line it up where you want it at the top bring it around to the underside, use your finger again. You want to be sure that your finger is very moist with that collage page. If it's not, you will find that the tissue will tear. So keep dipping your finger right back in. You will also find that many times the tissue paper will fold a little bit. That's fine. You just get a little bit different effect. And vary your colors here and overlap them a little bit because then that's where you start getting your variations in your coloring on your collage. When the pieces are too long, just grab your scissors. And the third color I'm using on this is purple. The package of tissue that I bought had a beautiful selection of coordinating colors. So it really did all the work for me in helping me to match. Now you can see I didn't have it up quite as high as I wanted it when I pulled it off. It did tear a little bit and so I'm going to take that piece away and lay this back down. I want to be sure that it overlaps a little bit. So it, it does forgive a, a little bit if you need to uh, move it at all. Really this is how easy it is. You just keep adding your strips of your collage all the way around until you have that entire jar covered. And you're going to let this dry completely. I like to let it dry overnight so that the underside, the top, all the edges are completely dry. So that's how you do the striped effect. Isn't that cool? For the polka dot design, I just folded my tissues back and forth because it's easier, let me get some of that collage posh off my fingers, it's easier for the punch to punch through many layers. That was actually a hint that Eco Heidi gave to me as I was trying to punch just a few layers at a time and it didn't work as well. But you just put that right into your punch and what you want to do is separate them out first and then you just dab your finger into those dots when it's time to pick them up to collage them. 
To finish off my luminaries, my candle holders, I just use some fancy yarns. You can use ribbons. You could add beads. Just embellish the edges however you would like. And of course, you can do these in any sort of colors that you would like. They're beautiful. They pick up the candlelight. Just for perfect for any celebration. I'm Tiffany Windsor, and I think it's cool to craft.